From Studio 3 at Buzz TV, it's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome into another edition of The Horse's Mouth here on Buzz TV. Of course, we're back at the bar, back at Tommy Max, and brought to you by our good friends at truckcrashlaw.com. We're talking entertainment this time around, so let's welcome in our panel. Anthony Salazar, how are you, my man, from 1010XL? Good, how are my you? My radio station as well. Great to have you. Yes, sir. What are you doing? You're working the board, producing, a little bit of this, a little bit of that? New yes, to the sir. job as well. Huh? I've been there since about late January. Okay. I just recently graduated from UNF cool. with my degree in communication. Are you from here or where are you from? Yes, sir. I've grown up. Well, I'm more like the Green Cove area, so it okay. takes about 50 minutes to drive to work every day. But okay. When UNF's I'm a great fun, school. Yes, sir. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. And so I've been there for about a month and a half, two months now, and just okay. sitting there being a fly on the wall, learning from E.T., J.J., Andrew, everybody, just soaking it all in, and everybody yeah. there has been super nice to me. And you said uh, Ken Thomas uh, over at UNF helped you get the gig over there, huh? Yes, helped sir. you out. Inside Swoop was a very big factor in cool. getting my job. Yeah. Like, I applied for about two dozen jobs after I graduated, and yeah. nobody seemed to be interested. And then Stephen Griffin from 1010 yeah, sent me an email, yeah. asked me if I wanted the job. And I said yes, and I asked him, like, how did I get my, my information? And he said that Ken Thomas basically put in a good word. Good. So the only job I got was the one I didn't send an application to. Hey, so perfect. Yep. No, you you got to interact with your connections and just soak it all in. Well, you did something right because yes, they sir. hired you, right? Yes, Great sir. to have you on the show. I'll Thank probably you. see you at Jaguars today on the Fridays as I'm a guest host yes, sir. on that day. All right, Douglas Haas is here from Haas Line Entertainment. What's nice up, to see you. My Chicago brethren. There you go. This Plains. Is that, you're not from there, but you worked there for there a long time. I worked there for many time. years. Yeah. And you worked with a bunch of the old Chicago sports stars, Butkus, and I've worked with the a ton likes of, athletes. of those guys. Yeah, it's a great business, as you know to Absolutely. be. Absolutely. And when you can bring athletes and promotional work together at retail. Yep. Whether it's uh, at the store level or on uh, online now with e-tail as we right. call it, yeah. it's, a, it's a great thing. Is that what Hostline does? Is you, you work on those times? We sports bring, marketing uh, type yeah, things? we bring all entertainment brands, whether it's movies, TV, music, okay. or sports celebrities, to okay. ally with brands at retail. All on the marketing side. All on the market. Yeah, whether side. it's at the uh, the bricks and mortar or online, what have you. Both both concepts. All right, who's your favorite to ever work with? You got one. Um, I would say probably Joe Top. Montana and Dan Marino. Oh, right. really? Yeah. Okay. We did a big promotion, uh, probably I think one of the biggest sports promotions. It's in the book, The Walmart Decade, called okay. Quarterbacks of the Century. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, yeah. consumers got to vote for their favorite quarterback. Okay. Uh, the late Johnny Unitas, uh, Dan, yeah. uh, Joe, yeah. and John Elway. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. Played against Elway. Yeah. He's a beast. He is a beast. I, I once knocked the ball of his down, I swear. The the tip of the ball hit me in the middle finger in my knuckle. My knuckle was swollen for six months afterward. I'm well, not the, kidding. Would not go down. The second year, we did yeah. the receivers, so he had okay. McCaffrey. And, oh, yeah. So you know Ed probably. Too. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so you've been in entertainment. I what have. would you give this young gentleman? Uh, what advice would you give Anthony? He's getting into the radio side of things and working his way th up through producer world. You eventually want to be on air, I would imagine, right? Be, yes, be in sir. front that's, of the that's, camera that's or on the, the air. Got any advice for the young man? I think the thing is, if you love it and you're passionate about it, just keep doing it. Yeah. Don't turn down gigs because I think the more, as you said, and I think you already learned, the more you interact with people, yep. the more you learn from each other. Yeah, no doubt. And you got to be consistent. You got to work on your craft. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got to work on it. You know, you got to work on your own. I, I do a speeches and all. It's always your open. The open's the key. Once you get the open and you get people's attention, everything else kind of falls into place. Absolutely. But you got to know your story, right? You got to know what you're talking about. Gotta you got to know what you're doing. Yeah, you got to remember it all. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. How about, uh, Douglas, uh, who was challenging to work with, if you can say? Um, I would say probably the NBA okay. uh, stars. Um, yep. All were great. Um, Kevin Garnett. Okay. Uh, and, and and sometimes it's not the star, it's the agent and what's agreed upon. You're yeah, probably right. familiar with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll tell you somebody who was known to probably not be good to work with, who was great, was uh, Barry Bonds. Okay. Um, just a, a pro. But yeah. Barry only did exactly what was in the writer. Right. He did no more right. or no less. Yeah. So it's important to get those writers right yep. and get everything uh, set before you have it. And, and communication's key, isn't it, on the front end? I mean, for everything, you know, exactly. like whether you're working the board or you're doing what you're doing, communication, Absolutely. up front, manage that expectation, let everybody know what's going on so then when it does happen, it's not that big of a deal. Absolutely. Just like we did here where you got to know us a little bit before we did this. Yeah. And Absolutely. I think that that helps us. Uh, Absolutely. Break the ice. All right. How can we help you? 
you? What uh, can people find you to maybe? Uh, you can go to uh, Douglas your... Haas on okay. Facebook or okay. Haasline Entertainment. That's the best way to find me. Okay. And uh, again, we do uh, promotions not just for we do big tent poles for big sure. movies, okay. uh, big celebrities, but we like to pride ourselves in doing the affordable things for the small businesses. Cool. And sometimes they don't think they can play in this arena, and they can. All right. Great. Well, best of luck, and thanks for being here. Anthony, I'm going to be seeing you around 1010. Yes, sir. Thanks for being here, man. You, yes, sir. You jumped right in. So that's half the battle. Exactly. Yeah. Douglas, right? Half the battle. Half the battle. You're not afraid. Don't be afraid. Just go do it, and then you'll Head be down. all right. That's right. Yes, all right. Thanks, guys. Thank Appreciate you. you being here. Hey, if you like these kind of conversations, you can check out more at IWantToBuzz.com. Until next time, stay safe and be cool out there. We'll see you right here on The Horse's Mouth. Cheers. Cheers.